Hello everyone, this video is on patching a cast iron pipe. This is a 4 inch pipe. The kitchen sink is on the floor above and this line supplies the drainage for that kitchen sink all the way down about 40 foot. Uh, then it connects to the main plumbing of the house. So uh, I was cleaning out this line there was a blockage about halfway and when I was cleaning it out it broke through here and so I'm going to patch that today and hopefully that will last a good while uh, let's get a closer look at that that is uh, let me get my measuring tape out here alright so that is about six inches and it is about about one inch wide so uh, I've got some rust-oleum here you can see some rust here. I don't really see any rust down here. Doesn't really. Yeah, it doesn't really seem like there's any rust there or here. Uh, but you can see see the surface rust here and so I'm just going to uh, sand that down I'm going to use some 220 uh, sandpaper and sand it down and uh, then I'm going to use some of this rust-oleum uh, metal primer here uh, and then I'm going to find a patch to patch that up simple as that I wish I had um, a wire brush um, or uh, something else so they don't have to hand sand this but uh, I guess I uh, so I'll go ahead and start doing that So I've sanded it now, and I'm just going to wipe it off. Clean rag here. If I was just going to patch this temporarily, uh, I wouldn't even bother sanding it or uh, putting the primer on. But I'm hoping this is going to last me for a couple of years at least. Um, you know, the best thing to do in this case is obviously replace this pipe with PVC. But, uh, you know, I'm hoping this will last a while. And, uh, you know, we'll see. I really don't want to do that right now. But, uh, you know, I may have to. But I'm pretty sure this patch that I'm going to put on here is going to hold it. So, uh, worth a try, I think, anyway. Okay, so this oil-based primer here is really thick I mean, it's all settled to the bottom I haven't used this for uh, two or three years so I'm steering it up here I put this on oh probably about 10 foot of uh, of this same drain pipe uh, years ago I could see some rust coming through so I went ahead and sanded it sanded that and put some primer on it and uh, haven't had any problems and that's yeah that's been two maybe three years 
so uh, yeah this has just been sitting around so I think we're good here hoping to put two coats of this on what I'm going to want to do is uh, let the first coat dry and then put another coat on time permitting um, this dries really fast it is night here I should say and this sink is the only thing that we can't use the kitchen sink here so probably let it dry overnight and uh, just come back tomorrow and put the patch on Still needs to be steered up a little bit. Alright, that's good for that first coat, I think. I'll let it dry now and uh, maybe come back a little later. So here we are the next day. This uh, primer now is dry and I'm going to start cutting the patch for this. So I'm measuring at about ladder's about to give way here. I'm going to measure a patch about nine inches. About nine inches. So uh, let me show you what I'm going to be using for the patch. So I've got some weatherproofing uh, for roofing here. This is the kind of stuff you put down in the valley before you start shooting on a roof. And I had some of this left over. You just peel this off. It's kind of got a slightly sticky. It's not really that sticky, but uh, it's a um, tar-based uh, product here, and it's pretty durable. I mean, this is. Kind of like a, a shingle here, but uh, this will be the side that I'm going to put against the pipe. And uh, pretty durable stuff. You'd have to pretty much cut it with a knife. So uh, I think this is going to work okay. Uh, it's about a millimeter. Thick, I guess something also that I had was uh, some more waterproof uh, repair tape pretty much the same stuff the roll of this is about $17 and uh, you know I don't, really wouldn't be uh, practical I guess to buy a roll of this stuff just to make this repair so uh, this would work it's just not wide enough for that uh, that uh, hole in the pipe um, but really anything that's going to be waterproof anything you know, like a polyurethane um, rubber would probably work as, as well so I'm going to go ahead and cut out a piece of this I've already measured the size that I need. I'm going to, uh, the nine inches is what I'm going to go with. So I'm just going to use some scissors here to cut this stuff out here. So I'm going to use these clamps here. These are like $1.98 and they're three inch by five inch clamps. 
I'm just going to open them up, put them on the pipes. Uh, I'm going to have one on each end, and I thought since the uh, hole there is so long, I'll just use one in the center kind of for support. So uh, let's get those ready. All right, so what I'm doing now is just measuring where I'm going to put the clamps at. I'm going to put this one at one and a half inch and this one at eight inches. And what I've decided to do also is uh, put some roofing tar. Since I want this to last a while, I'm going to put some a bead of tar right around here where the water will be settling because I really don't want it to erode this pipe anymore so I'll do that on each side just a bead I'm not sure how far I'll go probably not very far may go all the way up but uh go ahead and put that on now I'm just peeling the back off of uh, the patch here. And I'm going to try to wrap this around twice. pretty good here. I'm a little surprised about that. Got a nail up here got to get over. That should be good. That nails kind of messed me up here. Alright. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut it right here.
I'm going to get my measuring tape out and make sure I'm about an inch and a half. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other end at eight inches. Okay, now let's, uh, okay, so the charge in my battery just died, but I just uh, tightened the clamps, and uh, I'm going to go turn the water on and try it out for the first time. Uh, I just wanted to show you a close-up of uh, the back of, of this uh, weatherproofing here. So uh, you can see it's really water resistant here so I shouldn't have any trouble so let's go turn it on and try it out all right water's running so uh, yeah that should be good all right, thanks for watching the video. Hope it's been helpful. The next time, guys, have a great day out there. Take care.